Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be continue working on the email client that we created in the last tutorial. Now all we've done so far is created the interface for it and we created two variables. We've got a my message as a mail message and an SMTP sender as um, the SMTP client. So let's go ahead and make some subs here. So We'll do private sub create message. And we're not going to need any arguments for this because everything is stored in our text boxes. So let's go ahead and set the name for each one of these. So we'll do text from, text pass, text to, subject, and body. So text subject. text body okay so whenever we create the message what we want to do is use our my message object so my message dot from says gets or sets the from address uh, address for this email message so we're gonna have to set that equal to whatever is in our uh, text from so what we're gonna do is create a new mail address and it says represents the address of an electronic mail sender or recipient. So what this is going to do is it's going to do everything for us and all we have to do is provide the text that contains the email address. So we're going to create a new mail address and then we're going to use text from dot text dot trim. Now what trim does is it removes any blank spaces that they, that they have in there. So let's say they were they started off they put a space and then typed in their email well trim is going to take that out for us so this will prevent errors from happening okay so now the next thing we're going to do is get the um, two we're going to use the password later on when we actually send the email so we're going to do my message dot two and now we're just going to add another email to send it to so we're going to set that equal to actually we're not setting that equal to we're using an address as string so we're gonna have to pass a string to this so we'll just do text to dot text and we'll go ahead and trim that to get rid of any um, blank spaces so we added another person to send it to now what we're gonna need to do is add a subject so my message dot subject equals and we're just gonna do text subject dot text so it gets the subject that they typed in and now what we need to do is we need to create the body. So my message dot body gets or sets the message body. We're going to set that equal to text body dot text. Now we can also set the priority of this. So my message dot priority equals um, let's see mail priority. We can do high low or normal and this is an enumeration so let's just go ahead and leave this at normal so now we've initialized our message now let's create a sub that will set up our SMTP client so private sub um, create SMTP okay so now that we've created this sub what we're going to need to do is set some attributes of SMTP sender. So SMTP sender dot, you can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff right here. So let's start off with the credentials. So what we're going to have to do is create a new net dot network credentials. It says provides credentials for password based authentication schemes such as basic digest, NTLM, and Kerberos authentication. So basically what this means is we're going to give it a password and a, a username. So the username is going to be text from dot text and then we'll just trim it and then we'll set the password to text pass dot text dot trim. So now that we have our credentials for our SMTP sender so it'll actually send it using a valid email address let's go ahead and set some other um, attributes of our S SMTP sender. Now 
we can enable SSL encryption um, so that it's a little bit safer so we'll just set that equal to true now we'll do SMTP sender dot and what we're going to need to do is use the host so the host for live email address email addresses is SMTP dot live dot com so this is what it's going to connect to to send our email addresses I mean our email to so then we'll do SMTP sender dot port equals and we're gonna to have to supply uh, the port that it connects to now I believe the port is 587 we'll just have to see if that works okay so now we've got our create SMTP and create